In this video, you will learn about fast heartbeats. The heart is a fist-sized organ that acts as a pump to send oxygen-rich blood throughout the body. The heart has four chambers, two upper chambers, called the right atrium and the left atrium, and two lower chambers, called the right ventricle and the left ventricle. Regular rhythmic electrical signals keep the heart pumping blood. A healthy heart beats 60 to 100 times per minute. Exercise, stress or fear can cause the heart to beat faster, but this is a normal response. Tachycardia is an abnormal heart rhythm where the heart beats too fast. With tachycardia, the heart beats at over 100 times per minute for no apparent reason. At such a fast rate, blood is not pumped effectively to the body and brain. Tachycardia could lead to life-threatening arrhythmias and sudden cardiac arrest, referred to as SCA. SCA results from an electrical problem with the heart that triggers a dangerously fast heart rhythm. The rapid, irregular heart rhythm causes the heart to quiver rather than contract or pump. When the heart stops pumping blood, oxygen cannot reach the body and brain. If not treated immediately, SCA can be fatal. The most effective way to treat tachycardia and SCA is through defibrillation. Defibrillation involves delivering an electrical shock to your heart to restore the heart's natural rhythm. This can be done through an automated external defibrillator, or AED, which is a portable device that is used by emergency response teams or the general public to shock the heart. An ICD is an implantable heart device consisting of a defibrillator and one or two leads. The defibrillator is a sealed box that contains a battery and a tiny computer that monitors your heart rhythm 24 hours a day. The leads are soft, thin, insulated wires, about the size of a spaghetti noodle, which run from the defibrillator into specific areas of your heart. They deliver electric impulses from the defibrillator. If your heart is beating too fast or irregularly, the device will first send small painless electrical pulses to correct your heart rate. This is called anti-tachycardia pacing, or ATP. If the fast heart rate continues, the defibrillator will deliver an electric shock to restore your heart to a normal rate. The ICD can also treat slow heart rhythms by sending electrical pulses to the heart to correct it. Your doctor will help determine if you need one or two leads to treat your condition and will program your ICD to deliver the most effective therapies for your specific heart condition. The day of the procedure, your care team will help you prepare for surgery. The procedure is conducted in a hospital cardiac catheterization laboratory, or cath lab, a place where minimally invasive surgical interventions are done. Before the surgery, medication may be given to make you sleepy and comfortable. Generally, the procedure is performed under local anesthesia. A small incision, approximately 5 to 10 centimeters long, will be made in your upper chest area, just below your collarbone. One or two leads will be guided through a vein into your heart and the leads will be connected to the implantable cardioverter defibrillator. The ICD settings will be programmed and the device will be tested to ensure it is working properly to meet your medical needs. It will be inserted beneath your skin and the incision in your chest will be closed using either stitches or a special glue. The entire procedure typically takes between one to three hours. Most people go home the same day or the day after the procedure. Recovery times will vary by patient, but most patients are back to their normal routine in six to eight weeks. Follow your physician's instructions and allow yourself time to get used to your ICD. After your procedure, you will be given an ICD identification card. Always carry it with you as it contains important information about the implanted device. Your doctor will set follow-up appointments during which your ICD will be checked. Take this opportunity to ask any questions you may have. Remote monitoring provides easy access to information that allows your doctor to manage your device and heart condition. Ask your doctor if remote monitoring is an option for you. There are some precautions for people living with an ICD like keeping a distance of 15 centimeters between your device and your smartphone, or items containing magnets, for example. As long as your doctor has no objections, you can resume all the activities you enjoyed before getting your ICD device. <laughs>